going on everybody? This is John G, aka Mr. Go In. I am just chilling in the hotel room in beautiful downtown Los Angeles, California. I got this performance tonight. We're totally gonna kill it. I'll put a link to the performance in the description below when that's available if you want to check that out. But really what I wanted to talk to you guys today about is my five fitness goals for 2016. So people sometimes will ask me, you know, what keeps you motivated? Well, if you set some goals, not just even in the fitness world, just in general, that'll get you through those rough days and get you kind of over that hill. So back to my five goals. I have three weightlifting goals and two calisthenics goals. Which one should we tackle first? Obviously we're going calisthenics. Okay, so goal number one, I wanna be able to do 23 muscle ups without coming off the bar. What I mean by that is you can rest on top. So, cause it's not really resting, you got your triceps fully engaged. You're just sort of getting your breath for a second, but your, your muscles are still working. So you can rest on top, but your feet can't come off. Once you get on, can't come off. So I wanna be able to do 23. Right now, I'm about 19, uh, 20 on a good day. An extra three probably doesn't sound like much, but if you can do a muscle up, let's say you can do five muscle ups, try to do eight. Whatever your max muscle up is, try to do three more, it's a lot, it's serious. Calisthenics goal number two. I wanna be able to control my handstand. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you know, I can get up and do the handstand, but a lot of those times, I'm 100% fresh. Sometimes I'm not, it's, it is a real workout and so I do it at the end of my workouts usually. But I wanna be able to control the handstand in that I do the L hold, go up to the handstand, hold it, control it, come back down, do another L hold, and then go back up. That's some serious control. That's some serious strength. If I can pull that off, I'm telling you, I'm a bad man if I can do that. So that's that's really what I want. That's really what I'm working on. That's what I want to be able to do by the end of the year. So goal number three, weightlifting goal number one, bench press. It's like the most alpha of the exercises a guy can do, right? That's usually the first thing that's always taken at every gym is the bench press. I want to be able to be in the three plate club. Usually guys kind of pat themselves on the back or the chest or whatever whenever they can graduate to the next plate club. So three plates, if you didn't know, that's 315 pounds. I want to be able to bench press 315 for a good four to five reps, okay? Right now, I'm about 275 uh, for about four to five reps, and that feels heavy. So you're talking about adding another 40 pounds to something that already feels heavy. It's gonna be a stretch, it's gonna be a challenge, but I'm up for it, like I'm, I'm ready to do it. And I don't bench press, I don't bench press with a spotter, so I have no idea what my one rep max is. Doesn't matter to me because I'm going for this 315. So, goal number four, or weightlifting goal number two, uh, is gonna be the standing military press or the barbell overhead press, whatever you wanna call it. But I want to be able to bench, I want to be able to press my body weight five to six times. Maybe at the end of the year I may be bulking so I may be a little heavier, but 185 is what I want to be able to press about five to six times. If you can press 185, you've got some nice round shoulders. My shoulders have gotten better. I think this is going to be, out of all the goals, this one is going to be the hardest one to achieve because Shoulders have always been my weak point. Because they were my weak point, I didn't focus on getting my weak point better. I just focused on letting my weak point not get any weaker, if that makes sense. So now I've actually focused on my weak point. Now, for the last goal, you're probably saying, what about the legs, what about the legs? Nobody ever works out legs. I have a goal for the legs. What I wanna do is graduate to the six plate club for the leg press, right? So I wanna do uh, leg press, six plates. So that's about 580. If I'm doing 580, I may slap on a two tens, a 10 on the left, a 10 on the right, just to get 600, even it out. But that's really what I wanna be able to do. And I think that this one, this one's really gonna be a challenge, but it's also gonna be a, quite an accomplishment because 
I've had a, you know, a bad left knee since my teenage years back when I was skating. You can see me in this video right here, dressed in all black, black out everything, black on black. It was just from wear and tear on the knee. It wasn't anything specific. It was me pushing through pain and I, at that age, couldn't tell the difference between muscle pain, mental get over it versus your body's telling you something's wrong, injured, stop doing it and I just kept pushing past and everything and ended up kind of hurting my knee. So much to where a couple of years ago I could only leg press like 180 pounds. I think this one will be doable. Um, just gotta take it easy on my knee. And so I want to be able to do 10. So six, six plates, maybe a 10 on each side for 10 reps. So those are the goals. We'll see how they turn out. Uh, what would make this even more interesting if I could do something or think of something to say, hey, if I don't accomplish two out of five or three out of five or four out of five, then I have to do something. Comment below if you have any suggestions. And then also, if I am able to accomplish four out of five, five out of five or whatever, Maybe I can get some. Comment below if you have any ideas. So that's it. If you like the video, here's a novel idea. Hit like on video. If you have any questions, you can always email me or just comment below. I'll get back to you there. Be sure to subscribe for more great fitness videos. Till next time. Yeah.